Yo, what is up everybody? So in today's video, I'm gonna be starting a brand new series. Assassin's Creed, Assassin's Creed 3. So Assassin's Creed 3, uh, I'm essentially just gonna, because I love this game and it's probably my favorite. Well, and no. Out of all the Assassin's Creed games, I don't know which one's my favorite. Probably... Uh, out of the five I mostly play, I don't know which one would be my favorite. Probably Black Flag or two. Those are my two personal favorites. Let's turn up that volume. Bits of ancient technology scattered across the world, some hidden, some found, all of them dangerous. Most are held by a single group, the same group that now had Desmond. You know them as obscure old mysteries. We know them as the Templars, as the enemy. We've been fighting them for thousands of years, even longer if you believe the stories of their origin. I do. After all, I've seen the truth. As much as I wish I could skip this cutscene because I've watched it like twice now and I don't really care that much, uh, I'm just gonna shut up. To show us history the way it really happened, up until its creation, to the victim and the spoilers, when the truth. We're trying to fix that, to free minds and bodies, but there's only so much we can do, and the Templars have the upper hand in this thing. It's something larger than the assassins and the Templars is approaching. Bigger than all of us. And if we can't find a way to stop it, these next few weeks will probably be our last. Everyone's last. In the end, it all comes down to him. To Desmond. Through the animus, he discovered his heritage, explored the lives of his ancestors, and uncovered their secrets. Altair, the goat, Ezio, the second goat. But by decades of experience in the span of a few days, it worked. Desmond. Ominous date fast approaches, December 21st, 2012. None of us knows what it will bring, only that this is where they want us to be. And it does. They've been guiding us. They're all fractured, frustrated. These voices from the first civilization, the ones who came before, a precursor race of immense power and uncertain motives. They are the ones who made the pieces of the this is where they led him, and through him, us. He stands at the entrance to this long-lost place, armed with the knowledge of Alter Year and the abilities of it. He holds in his hands the apple of Eden, and we stand at his side, ready to support him, however we can. His name is Desmond Miles, and he's brought us to the end. The camera looks like it's set up like a Call of Duty campaign. Even though the camera, what, like what we're seeing, is not any character. We're just, it's like we're a little security camera or something. And there's Rebecca, who looks like a teenage emo. We're here. Desmond's dad, who looks like... Who looks like he chews toenails. And Desmond, who looks a lot different in this game than he did in the past few. Now, why am I starting my playthrough with AC3 instead of something like AC1 or 2? Well, it's very simple. Because I haven't actually completed the other ones. Like, I've completed 1 and 2, but I haven't... And two, uh, only issue, I don't have the other sequences, because they're behind a fucking DLC paywall. So, that sucks. Uh, so, I guess I'm going to start now by... So, I guess each episode is going to be a sequence, I guess?
and then I guess I'm going to be talking about my thoughts on the game, which I've already completed it. In another moment, down went Alice after it, never once considering how in the world... I hate the sarcastic little British shithead. I never liked Sean, he was kind of annoying. And I was kind of a shithead. Yeah, I'm just going to skip this cutscene because I care more about playing than I do about watching dumbass cutscenes that aren't even that important. open, there we go. Let's just go ahead and slide down. There we go. Alright, it's about time we get started on this shit. It's a piece of Eden. Okay, finally, I'm in the Animus. Naturally, you dropped me into the Animus instead of, I don't know, making sure I was okay. You weren't in any danger. Besides, the temple appeared to be communicating with you, and I didn't want to miss a step in the connection. At least not until we knew what it wanted. Right, of course. Stop, I... No, it's fine. I get it. And I know what I'm looking for. where it is though I guess that's why she tricked me to believe in the fact she you know her dad she's talking to me yes father okay, Juno is like talking to me uh, being in Constantinople we picked up a software update for the animus I'd like to run a couple of quick tests to make sure there aren't any major issues That's another thing about this game. It's got some pretty, pretty good parkour. In the whole series, I'd say either Black Flag or Unity has yes, the best parkour. The is climbing on these objects. Because Black Flag is kind of like Three's parkour, just like, just more quicker and better overall. But, you know. Shit, okay. I guess the eject doesn't really work as well as it does in the other games before this, which I'm more used to playing, but whatever. Right, here we go. And now let's just jump down into whatever the wherever the hell we're going. Which is taking us to being Haven. Yes, we are Haven. Great. Uh, in some people's opinions, the proper protagonist of this game. In my opinion, I think Connor is still good. I think Haven, I think Connor shit on too much. Like, 
pay them like isn't uh, isn't even uh, everything all right with them yes fine i'm just preoccupied what's this all don't forget you just preoccupied just a little Thank you. Where shall I retreat with what you have done? In front of the opera house. And be quick about it. Don't expect to be here long. I'll bring a round of one. Alright, sequence one. Oh yes, one of the coolest missions in Assassin's Creed. Shall I take your coat, sir? Shall I take your coat, sir? Oh. <laughs> Than that sneaky bastard. Ladies and gentlemen, you are requested to kindly find your seat. Good evening, sir. This way, please. Oh, my apologies. My apologies. I love Hayden. He's like one of my favorite characters in Assassin's Creed. He's, he's cool as hell. I like his fighting style more than Connor's. It's like more elegant somehow. Can't tell you how happy I was to hear they'd mounted this revival. Gay's best work by far. Have you seen it before? Once. My father brought me here as a child. Edward. Edward. <laughs> Edward. Oh, there's the little shit. Right. I'm not gonna skip uh, cutscenes the whole series, but it's just for this episode. Because it started off very slow, and there's not much... There's not much gameplay in this first sequence. Even if this first mission is very good. But still, there's not much gameplay here, so... I wonder what people think when they just look up and see this dude just climbing like a monkey. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> All right. Oh shit, I hate this part. There we go. Perfect. Perfect place to climb. So the quality of the videos might be slightly better, because... Like, yeah. Because I have a new phone. I lost access to, like, my accounts. So I guess I gotta regain it somehow. There we go. Thank you for that, bitch.
<laughs> oh, that is creepy. The way Haytham smiles, that little fucking smirk and that shh, that is fucking creepy. That is very creepy. All right, well, I guess with that, I can just end the episode here and then make more. So I guess I'll see you next episode.